The following is an NTV Newfoundland and Labrador news checkpoint. Brought to you in part by the Newfoundland Labrador Liquor Corporation. Celebrating their Air Miles Reward Program's first anniversary. You could win free wine for a year. Good evening everyone at the Cameron Inquiry today. Health Minister Ross Wiseman concluded his testimony. And then testimony from this man, former President and CEO of Eastern Health, George Tilley. He's been a controversial figure in the whole affair, and his testimony has been the most anticipated so far. Today, Commission Counsel Byrne Coffey simply asked him to tell his side of the story. He will be on the stand for several days, and his testimony will continue tomorrow. Well, a close call for several fishermen from two boats over the past couple of days. The crew of the BS Venture spent part of uh, this afternoon trying to salvage what they could from their vessel less than 24 hours after they were forced to abandon the long liner off the coast of Rocky Harbor when engine problems left it dead in the water. At about 7 o'clock on Monday, the six-man crew returning to Rocky Harbor from two days of sealing when the vessel's engine fell silent. Skipper Will Decker made several attempts to refire the motor, but as his boat drifted just a few hundred meters from the rocky shore, he decided to order all hands overboard. The crew piled into a smaller speedboat that was being towed. Just minutes later, the long liner slammed into a shoreline. There were no injuries today trying to assess the damage. Meanwhile, Dyson Sacre and his crew are at home in Ming's Bight. And they say the 103 Search and Rescue Squadron in Gander deserve a lot of credit following this rescue. Their boat, the Lacey May, caught fire on Monday afternoon just off Cape Bonavista. Men had to jump into an aluminum boat, found refuge on this ice pan. About a half an hour later, they were picked up by members of the 103 Rescue Squadron in a Cormorant helicopter. That's our checkpoint. Have a nice evening, everyone. Now playing on Oz FM. At Provincial Airlines, we take our smiles seriously, and we enjoy helping you take care of business every day. So sit back and relax, and fly in comfort. Cohen's has the right pieces to complete your home's look. Pay no interest till 2012. That's right, low monthly payments on sofas, coffee tables, bedroom sets, mattresses, recliners, and more. For the look that fits your home, come on into Cohen's. which I might add has stood for over 20 years. Well, it looks like we've got our sports jock and Chad question of the day. Who currently holds that record? Winner gets a sports jock t-shirt and dinner for two at the Arroyo. Mm -hmm. Up down. Mm -hmm. We're sports jock and Chad, two faces, better off in radio. <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs> I'm Sharon Snow. Since 2000, we've visited many places. That's a lot of mileage. From the Northern Peninsula to the South Coast, Central Newfoundland, Corner Brook, and the beautiful West Coast, all the way to the Avalon, and around many coastlines and shores. Well, eight years later, the journey continues. Join me every Friday on the award-winning NTV Evening News Hour for Places to Go. Here's a chance to actually get paid and have a whack of fun. The Oz FM Summer Cruiser Team. It's the ideal summer job. Listen for details on Oz FM. I'm Lynn Burry, co-host of the NTV Evening News Hour, the number one newscast in Newfoundland and Labrador. Each night, our reporters present the stories that matter to you. Information that is clear, concise, and relevant. It's our commitment to the people of Newfoundland and Labrador, and it's a commitment you can count on. Join us each weeknight for the NTV Evening News Hour. The following is an NTV News Checkpoint weather update. Brought to you in part by the Newfoundland Labrador Liquor Corporation. Celebrating their Air Miles Reward Program's first anniversary. You could win free wine for a year. 
Good evening, I'm Tony Marie Wiseman. Here's how things are shaping up around most major centers. First off, here's how things looked earlier today in the Bahamas. Sun and clouds, 22 degrees, 21 sun and clouds in Tampa Bay, Florida. Mainly sunny with some light clouds in 19 in Los Angeles. Across our country, showers in 11 in Vancouver, Fort McMurray, 9 degrees there, sun and cloud. 20 in Winnipeg today, sun and cloud there. In Ottawa, it was mainly sunny in 13, sun and clouds in 4 in St. John. Some snow today for Goose Bay, temperatures at 1. Overnight tonight for Newfoundland, clear for St. Anthony, Cornerbrook, Port of Basque, and Marystown. Partly cloudy elsewhere, but we are going to see some clearing. Temperatures minus 2 to minus 5. For tomorrow, uh, more good news actually in the forecast. Temperatures warming up between 3 and 7, and most of us can expect to see mainly sunny skies. For Labrador tonight, this is your weather outlook. Flurries continuing for Churchill Falls and Wabush. Going to clear off, though, later in the evening for most other areas. Temperatures minus 4 to minus 14 tonight. Winds from the northwest up to 80 kilometers per hour along the coast. For tomorrow, showers are wet. Flurries for Nain, Churchill Falls, Lab City, Wabush. You might see some showers for Goose Bay, but you're going to see some sunshine as well. Sun and clouds for Cartwright. Temperatures plus 3 to plus 8. For Newfoundland, for the next four days, Wednesday and Thursday, sun and clouds, temperatures between 8 and 13, sun and showers and 14 for Friday. For Saturday, showers again, temperatures steady at 14. For Labrador, sun and showers and 8 for Wednesday, cloudy skies for Thursday and Friday, temperatures there between 10 and 11, showers and flurries for Saturday, temperatures at 4. That is our weather update. I'm Tony Marie Wiseman. Thank you so much for joining us.